a really neat effect that you can create um, on your digital texture collage are shadows. So you can create this sense of three-dimensionalness on your flat surface here, which is a really neat trick. So what we're going to do to make some shadows, we have to have a blank layer to paint our shadows on. So I'm going to click the plus button on my layers over here. And instead of clicking on image, I'm going to click empty. It's going to put it all the way at the top because that's what it normally does. I'm going to rename this and I'm going to call this a shadow um, just to help me track it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it down. I want to figure out where I might want to add a shadow. I think I'm going to add it on this big piece that's this big pink kind of in the middle here. So I'm going to move this down so it's below that piece in my layers. So there it is right there. Then I'm going to grab my paintbrush. My paintbrush, I want to make sure I have a nice soft brush. And, um, you know, the size you're going to have to sort of play around with to see what, what you think looks good. You also want to choose black as your paint color. You can just click on that if you don't have black already. And then what I'm going to do is just go ahead and start um, painting um, along the edge of this piece, just like this. And I know that this is really dark. We're going to fix that. So right now, yeah, that looks really, really heavy. So what we can do is if we click on the three dots on the shadow layer, we can change the transparency here. So we can make it a lot less dark by making it more see-through. And the other thing we can do is we can blur this so it's not so uh, crisp. If we go to the filter menu and we click on blur, and then you'll be able to preview this too. So you can see if you add some blur what happens. So this is before and this is after. So it just softens it. So you kind of have to decide what you think looks good. So you can see that makes that piece look like it's floating upward uh, away from the piece the with the little blue kind of um, almost look like palm leaves there. So that is the strategy for creating shadows. And you can play around with this. It's actually pretty fun once you get going here. You can do, if I add another empty layer and then put it at the top here. I'm going to, all of these that are shadows, I'm just going to call them shadow because it just makes it easier for me. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and move this one. Oops, I need to click on it. I want to do a shadow so that this, um, this purple piece right here, the kind of furry looking one, is looking like it's actually above this one. So we're playing around with depth here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, move my shadow layer down that I just created. So you might have to play a little bit with your um, where your shadows play like where, where like the pieces go you might have to change the order of them. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm gonna um, start here. Okay so you can't see much right now because um, what I'm trying to do is make it so that this shadow is um, on top of this one. So I'm actually gonna move this piece upward and the shadow that goes with it. There you go. So now you can see what I'm trying to do there. I'm trying to show that this purple piece is actually above like that. And then again, I can play around with the transparency. And I can also play around with the blur. I don't think I clicked on it. Let's try again. All right, there we go. So you can see I'm playing with these different levels of depth. It makes it look like there's at least three levels here. So that is the concept. I would encourage you to play around with shadows and see if you like them. If you don't like them, you don't have to use them, but I find that it can add a lot of interest to this collage.